Utopia is a, a concept wherein a society will work together so that everyone can live harmoniously. And everybody's needs will be met determined on how much they need it. So let's say that I'm cold. I need a jacket. Well, then a jacket will be provided for me so that I well, can warm up a little bit. But now I'm hungry. And ha being hangry is one of my least favorite things. Well, food will be provided for me. But what happens if I have too much of something or I have something that I don't particularly need? Like a tennis ball. Well, then I can put this up for somebody else to have. A butt. Thereby helping them. Utopia. Where everyone's needs are met. The sun is never too hot. Birds don't attack you. People don't listen to trash music by Justin Bieber. And everyone's just happy. Sample number two. What is dystopia? As you'll see in this film adaptation of Blade Runner 2059, where I was the lead character, not Ryan Gosling, and we fly over the desolate city of LA in the future, as the government has oppressed its people, locked them into tenement homes and mass poverty, people are without, people are oppressed, they are depressed, and things have turned south. It's dark and dreary and gray, there's no sunshine and puppies, just babies crying in a sad, sorry state. Of course, dystopia or dystopian futures are imagined. They are, they are fiction, a work of fiction. The real focus here is to see, in fact, that dystopians can be an educational tool that describe, us about, describe humanity and, and teach us about the dangers of our current social and political structures and what they might end up being in the future. Five characteristics of a dystopian fiction are excessive government control, environmental destruction, technological control, fight for survival, and the loss of individualism. That is dystopia. Began to spin.